guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna be going back to basics a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys a round layered haircut. This is gonna be good on long hair or medium length hair. Um, you could even transfer into short hair if you wanted to, but uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to follow along with. Uh, this is a salon friendly haircut, which basically means that uh, you can talk any of your clients into getting this haircut. It's great for the summertime because it's going to be back off the face, a nice lightweight face frame to it. Again, I always think it's good to go back to basics and really work on your technique. So this is a very technique driven haircut. I'm going to walk you through it step by step the whole way through. Also, if you're looking to upgrade your scissors, your razor, um, all the different tools that we have on our online store on freesaloneducation.com, uh, go check it out. I got a special discount code for all my loyal subscribers out there. So just use the code loyal at checkout. Uh, again, that's loyal at checkout and you'll get 50% off scissors or razors. It's the only place that you can get a deal like that. So uh, again, it's just for you guys. Let me know if you have questions about the technique in the comments below and I will answer them for you. That's what we're here for. Let's get started with the video guys. Here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off the technique working on the left-hand side of the head. We're gonna be taking slight diagonal back sections, uh, vertical sections basically, and our finger angle is going to be parallel to the floor. Um, we're gonna be working a round shape, which means that we'll be working with a traveling guide and we'll be following the head shape all the way back. Um, so just know that your footwork is gonna follow um, every, every section that you bring out, you're gonna work your way around uh, with the head shape. Um, we're gonna work this same sectioning until we get to the center back and then we'll move to the opposite side. All right, so now we're finalizing uh, the left-hand side. Um, you're gonna see my finger angle stayed the same the whole time. Now I'm gonna grab a guideline from the very front. So what we started with to match it up on the opposite side. So this is a, just an easy trick to make sure that both sides are gonna be the same length. And then I'm just gonna work through the same exact way, traveling guide all the way back to that center point in the back of the head. All right, so now we're finishing up the back of the head. Um, you can see all those layers already popping through. Now we're gonna move on to the top, uh, that top rectangle section that we took. I'm just gonna take uh, sections across the top and I'm gonna connect the two sides. I'm gonna be working a stationary guy because what I wanna do through here is not have too much layers on the top. I wanna have most of the layers in the very front around the face frame area and then continue growing length within those layers towards the back. So using a stationary guide, over directing everything to that point, using point cutting uh, to add a little bit of texture and movement to the haircut so it's not so heavy on top. Um, these are all little tricks, little details that you can add in to make sure that you get a nice soft shape. Now you can see as I comb everything back, it goes nicely off of the face. So now that we got it dry, I'm gonna go in with the FSE Dual 20 Pro. This scissor is a dual, um, blending and texturizing scissor. We're gonna use it on a blend, so we'll have the blade down. So you can see as I go through, I just do a softening of the edges. So bringing everything straight out from the head and then just working the edge of that um, line, just to soften the line. What this is gonna do is uh, basically just soften the entire shape around the face. Um, any of your guests that seem to have heaviness around the front of their hair, um, or heaviness in their face frame, heaviness in their bangs. This is a great technique to lift that hair up and just soften the edge and lighten it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna do another softening blending technique into the back. So using that same dual 20 pro scissor, um, just going through and you can see how I just kind of remove a little bit of weight from the underneath. You can see how easy that scissor glides through the hair. This is one of my favorite scissors that we have in our collection. So just working through it and softening it, creating those invisible layers within the haircut. Now go through, add a little bit of detail to the style, just bringing everything back off of the face. And then you guys will see the final result. I love the way that this haircut looks, a little bit of hairspray to keep it off the face. You can see how nice and soft and uh, just salon friendly this haircut is. 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that technique. Like I said, pretty basic, but very, very usable in the salon. This is something that you can turn all your clients onto uh, in the chair. So again, uh, let me know if you have questions in the comments below. And don't forget that special offer, 50% off scissors and razors, the Evo razor, the Tri razor, um, all my scissors, the Elite Series, the Pro Series, it's all for you guys, 50% off. You're only gonna get it by using the code LOYAL and by watching these videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and share all of these videos with your hairdresser friends out there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. <laughs>